Hi, I'm Mark Wallace. Photographers have always loved using high-speed sync with their on-camera flash to get stunning images. With the Pocket Wizard Mini TT1 and Flex TT5, you can do more with your Canon flash system than ever before. Now, if you're new to high-speed sync, I'd like to quickly explain how it works, and then I'll show you how Pocket Wizard has made it possible to extend the capabilities of your Canon flash. I'll show you how the Mini and Flex allow you to get the flash off the camera and work in bright sunlight and at distances never before possible. I'll also show you how you can use the Mini and Flex to supercharge your system so you get a more powerful flash while using less battery power. But before we get to all that, we first need to understand how our camera's shutter works. Your camera's shutter has two curtains, and these curtains have names, the first curtain and the second curtain. And they open and close to reveal light to the sensor, much like a curtain opens and closes in a theater, to reveal what's happening on the stage. Let's take a closer look. When you press the shutter release with your finger, it tells the camera to open the shutter. The first curtain opens to reveal the light to the camera sensor. Then the second curtain follows behind to hide the light. Then the curtains reset and wait for you to press the shutter release again. Let's watch that again. Notice in this animation that the first curtain opens completely before the second curtain begins to follow. This only happens at slower shutter speeds, usually speeds under 200th of a second. Now watch what happens when we speed things up. When the shutter speed is faster, the second curtain can't wait for the first curtain to open all the way. If it does, it won't make it across in time. Notice in this animation that the shutter is never fully open. It just reveals a slit of light as it travels across the sensor, and the slit becomes smaller as the shutter speed increases. Now that you know how the shutter works, we can begin to talk about a few things. The first, sync speed. Sync speed is the shutter speed on your camera that allows the first curtain to fully open before the second curtain begins to follow. In other words, it's normally the fastest shutter speed you can use with the flash. Now let's take another look at that animation this time with the flash in the mix. When our camera's shutter speed is set to sync speed or slower, a few things happen. When you push your shutter release button, the first curtain opens. And as soon as the first curtain is fully open, the flash fires. Then the second curtain closes. Normally, if we have our shutter speed too high, we'd have problems. Let's take a look. When you press your shutter release, the first curtain will begin to open. But before it's fully open, the second curtain begins to close. When the first curtain is fully open, the flash fires just like it did before. But this time, part of the sensor is covered by the second curtain. This will cause our photo to have a black area. And the faster your shutter speed, the more black you'll have in your photo. Normally, when you put your flash on your camera, the camera won't allow you to set your shutter speed any faster than the camera's sync speed. That's why your shutter normally stops around 200th of a second when you have a flash on your camera. But there's a way around this. It's called high speed sync. With high speed sync, you can shoot at any shutter speed, right up to the fastest shutter speed your camera has. Let me show you how this works. When your shutter is moving faster than your camera's sync speed, it never fully opens. To compensate for this, the flash doesn't just fire once, it fires hundreds of small, evenly timed bursts. When the first curtain opens, the flash begins to fire, and as the curtains move over the sensor, the flash continues to fire bursts of light. To the sensor, these multiple flashes appear as one long burst of light, and we get a perfect exposure. The cool thing about high-speed sync is that it allows us to shoot in bright sunlight with a wide open aperture like 4.5 or 2.8. And then we can use our flash to get a perfect exposure by adding just the right amount of balance or fill flash. With the Pocket Wizard Mini in Flex, we can extend the functionality of our high speed sync in several ways. First, we can move our flash from our camera to any location we want. And because our flash isn't on our camera, we can use light modifiers like soft boxes and umbrellas. Normal remote systems use light to transmit and receive signals. This means that the camera and flash have to be able to see each other. This can be an issue when shooting outside because the sun can wash out the signal. This also limits the distance that you can shoot since the signal diminishes the farther it gets from the camera. This also means that you can't have anything between the camera and the flash. If the signal is obstructed, the flash won't fire. 
The Pocket Wizard Mini and Flex use radio signals instead of light to communicate. That means that light has no impact on the system. It also means that obstructions are no problem. Radio signals allow the camera and the flash to communicate at much greater distances. Another common issue with high speed sync is that it uses a lot of battery power. When you use the Pocket Wizard Mini and Flex for high speed sync, you'll get about twice the number of flashes from your batteries. Not only that, you'll gain up to two stops of power from your flash and your recycle times will be much faster. Now how is this possible? Well, Pocket Wizard has fine-tuned all of those bursts of light that happen during high-speed sync. And because the bursts of light are more efficient, they use less power. And because they use less power, you'll be able to get more light from the same set of batteries. With more power available, you'll be able to put your flash farther from your subject, your refresh rates will be faster, and your batteries will last a lot longer. Now that you know all about high-speed sync, let me show you how to set everything up. This is Erin, she's my assistant, and she's gonna be helping us out today. Well, I'm gonna start with the Mini, and all I need to do is put that on my camera's hot shoe and turn on my camera. I'm gonna use my camera in aperture priority mode today at 2.8, I wanna shoot wide open. Next, I'll take a flex, and I'm gonna slide this Canon 580 EX2 onto the flex. Now, I wanna make sure that my flex and my Mini are both set to the same channel, so I'm setting these to channel one. Now they're communicating with each other and everything is going to be handled for me. I don't need to take my flash and set it to high speed sync or do anything special. The Flex and the Mini do all of that work for me. Okay, I've asked Gwen to come and be our model for us today. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's get started. All right, just like that. Hold that, Gwen. So let me show you what we did. I have a Mini on my camera. I have my camera set to aperture priority mode and we're shooting in high speed sync and that's automatic with the flexes. So I have two flexes here. I've got the first flex with the 580 EX2. This is our key light and then I have a second flex. It's right back here. This is just to add a little bit of highlight to the left side of Gwen. Now both of these are not in ratio control or anything. They're just set to simple ETTL mode and the flex and the mini handles everything for us. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna get a little bit of sun flare here going. Love it, I love it. Oh, that's angelic. Very good. For more information about the Mini TT1 and Flex TT5 and the amazing ways you can use them, be sure to watch the full series of instructional videos at pocketwizard.com.